Hello, hello, hello. You're turning to the episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's first topic, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> New Raven, old attitude. Look. Roquan Smith. And I really want to make sure I say this. Roquan Smith has been the best player we have added to this roster by trade in a long time. I was watching that brother play, and he has that old school mentality. Watching him play at times, especially this year, it's almost like he has started to take over the persona of good old Ray Lewis. Let me talk to y'all real quick. So, forget the bone-jarring hit that he was laying across the middle. Forget the uh, bringing the guy down so hard his helmet comes off and looking at him. Like, this is my domain. You come here, you get hit. but the ability to rally and make the guys around him better. Have y'all, listen, I want y'all to understand where I'm coming from real quick because a lot of y'all ain't hearing me. Have y'all seen Patrick Queen since Roquan has joined this team? Have you seen this defense since Roquan has joined this team? Some players affect the game beyond X's and O. And Roquan Smith, yeah, he's one of those guys. Definitely he's one of those guys. Listen, people, I was watching that game, and he almost made a couple plays picking off the ball. But there were a couple plays where they didn't want to send their guys across the middle. In today's NFL? Listen, that's what, listen, sending guys across the middle because of the rules now is a staple of most NFL offenses. But they were, but these teams playing have almost been like, look, if Roke on there, don't throw it there, bro. Because they know he's going to lay the ball. He's going to lay it down. And as soon as they catch that ball and turn their head, oh, they're getting smacked. They're getting slapped. Oh. And they're looking at their quarterback like, why <laughs> did you do that to me? Tom Brady even talked about it. Tom Brady said, you know, a lot of those throws, because of the rules, the quarterbacks get bailed out of bad throws. Throws that they're not supposed to make. Because you knew guys like Ray Lewis was in the middle, that would kill your guy. Knock him out of the game. Roquan Smith is bringing back that energy. And it's so palpable. Like, it, you can see it. You can feel it. It doesn't, what, it, it doesn't even need to be talked about. It's an essence of actual feeling that everybody in the arena feels or sees. It really does go to the type of player that he is. And before when he came, he was more quiet. Like he was trying to feel his way around the team, feel out personalities. This season, it's like he went to zero. You know how he changed the number to zero? It's like I ain't standing for, listen, you know what zero stands for? I'm giving these guys zero respect. Now look, he doesn't mean that he doesn't respect his opponents. It's that, Sometimes you can respect him too much that you don't you don't hit you don't, like this is a, like this is a football game you're supposed to get hit. It's the same thing you saw with the Charlo and Canelo fight. Charlo was fighting him like he was. Oh, Canelo! Boom! Oh, oh my God! Did I knock away one of your freckles? Oh my God! <laughs> too much respect. It was um <laughs> even though Floyd won that fight the Mad the, the Madonna fight. Madonna said, I, "Listen, Floyd is one of the greatest boxers ever." When I'm in there, I'm trying to win. I'm throwing everything I can at this man. Man is trying to bite, trying to bite him, do whatever it takes to win. And he might have lost, but everyone said, "Man, that was a heck of a fight." Because he didn't. It's not like he didn't respect Floyd. It's like, look, 
I know how great you are. If, I, if I'm just straight up boxing you, I don't stand a chance. I got to dirty this up a little bit to give myself a chance. That's Roquan Smith every single Sunday. And Patrick Queen is playing the same way. No holds ball. You understand? This is blue collar. You bring your pail to work. Eat your lunch. And you put in that time. That's that old school mentality that he represents. And it plays off perfectly to the offense. Because <clears throat> I've said this before. The other day when we saw Lamar and them twisting his leg and nobody did anything, I think that truly bothered somebody like a Roquan because I'm pretty sure I am. Matter of fact, I know I'm sure something was said about it when they went home. Y'all might not know. I'm not even going to hide it. Yes, yeah, something was said about it. It was brought up more than once. How dare you? Right? That energy. And I'm thinking because of that energy, that's why the team was so had so much more ease to get rid of somebody like Marcus Peters because Marcus Peters was the energy, that attitude of that defense. That attitude now falls squarely on Roquan. And look, like I said before, I, he's going to be all pro this year. Show me a linebacker that's better. Show me a linebacker that makes more of an impact. Show me a linebacker that gets his guys up better to play. Show me a linebacker that makes more of an impact. Please, I'll be waiting here to see. I, uh, go ahead and let me know. There is none. There is none. The biggest playmaking safety right now in the league, playmaking wise, we have him in Hamilton. And the most ferocious linebacker in the league. The most foundational piece of a linebacker in the league. We have him. This defense is something to behold. I am curious to see how they're doing. They're going to go against like more tougher competition. But what makes me more calm about that is someone like Roquan because he holds guys accountable. He's making sure that guys look no excuses. There's no excuses. When they come in here, they know they leave knowing they played the Ravens. They don't leave in here. They're like, oh, you know. Uh, we did a good job. They're okay. No, they're like, ah, boy, where's that ice bath? And you, all you do is hear the, the, the words from Steve Smith seen echo out. I sup, son. I sup. It's a sight to behold. It truly is. If this defense and this offense can start humming together, I don't see a team in the league that could beat us. That goes for the 49ers. That goes for the Bills. And that darn sure goes for Kansas City. But we're going to get to see. It's a long season. A lot more football left to be played. But my God. They have been something to watch. Shout outs to Roquan. And once again, I want to say shout outs to Mark Andrews. And I forgot uh, what's his name also that is there. There was one of the linemen that went up to defend Lamar because we need that energy. We need that energy. You're not going to bully us. We are the bullies. You're not going to punch us in the, in, the, in the mouth and expect we're going to walk away and turn the other cheek. No, 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 no. We're going to kick you in your leg, elbow you in your eye. When you're done, can you... Oh, why did we do this for? Why did you make them bad? Why? <laughs> I want it like that. I want people looking at it saying, why did you make them angry? And you should too. Raven fans, buckle up because it's going to be one heck of a ride this season.
Bumpy. Injury. A lot of injuries. But one heck of a ride. Let's get ready. And that's an episode of the Wonder King. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And now we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know, I love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonder Kid Show's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. So give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you want to donate to the channel, we've had some amazing donations from the other day. Shout outs to you guys. Bottom of the screen, QR code. QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located from the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonder Can Show. And you're wondering what it does. Once again, it buys equipment. We just bought a 200 and something dollar external hard drive so that we could save the content and stuff like that. The new investment we're investing in is a brand new camera. The camera, I believe, is like $2,000. <laughs> it's a black magic one. And uh, we're going to try to get it so that you guys can get better quality um, <laughs> content. It's just that easy. And it will help with when I'm doing interviews. So that's what it goes to. So if you want to help extra, more than what you're already doing already, that's how you do it. But once again, this is the Wonder Kid Show. The show is not just shutting off. And as always, you know my slogan. Please. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yerp.